All right, everybody. In today's lecture, I will explain the SMT divergences. Uh, the SMT divergences are important because ICT once said that he uses these divergences in 90% of his trades. Like ICT won't enter into a trade if there is no SMT divergence. So these are important. So first we will uh, discuss what is SMT. Uh, then I will explain the SMT divergences. And then I will back test it and I will give you two examples one on the 4 hour and the other one on 15 minutes so the 4 hour you can use for swing trades and the 15 minute example you can use that for your score trades okay so uh, let's jump straight into the lecture now okay so what is SMT SMT means the smart money tool I also call it the sexy money tool and i will explain it in a moment why i call it the sexy money tool but the terminologies are not important like you can call it the smart money tool or the sexy money tool it doesn't matter thing that matters is the concept you have to get or you have to pick the concept okay now uh, we trade uh, by smt divergences but before discussing the smt divergences you have to understand the SMT pairs or the correlated pairs like in trading there are some pairs which are directly related if the price of one pair goes up the other one also goes up and if one goes down the other one also goes down like there is New Zealand dollar and Australian dollar these two are directly related then there is DXY and Euro they are inversely related like if DXY is bullish Euro will be bearish then Euro is directly related to GBP they are directly correlated pairs then there is nasdaq and spx these are also directly related bitcoin and ethereum is also directly related but bitcoin and dxy they are inversely related then there is bank nifty and nifty these two are also directly related of course there are some others but these are the pairs that i usually trade so uh, this will be enough in my opinion now the next step is the SMT divergence what is SMT divergence so there are bearish and bullish SMT divergences now what is divergence divergences are like this something like this forms okay uh, I will show you in a moment so uh, signs like this if signs like this formed uh, at the top this will be a bearish divergence okay at top this will be bearish okay these divergences will be bearish and at the bottom if these divergences form this will be bullish okay so what do i mean by the top and the bottom so now we are using snp the correlated pair is uh, nasdaq and s100 so you can see here that uh, this was the high that was made these are directly related pairs so both made this high so we will draw a line here okay uh, now the NAS 100 also made this high but here you can see that uh, SNP swept this high but the Nasdaq didn't so we got an SMT divergence uh, you can see we got an SMT divergence at the top and uh, as I said at the top these divergences are bearish so this is a bearish divergence and you can see the price has gone down okay now if these divergences forms at the bottom they will be bullish like here you can see that this is the bottom here and as you can see that it was swept in the case of SP in here this low wasn't swept so this was the bullish divergence okay something like this formed at the bottom uh, it can either be a bit down or just straight okay so something like this formed at the bottom and as I said divergences at the bottom are bullish now uh, I will uh, back test this uh, this for you uh, I will show you one example on the 4 hour so you can use that for your swim trades and then we will discuss one example on the 15 minute so uh, let me back test it i will play the replay 
Okay, so we will try it from here. Let me shift full screen now. We will draw these lines. Okay, this is the top here. Uh, let me correct it. This is the top, and this is the top for your NS100. Now let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see that here you got the sweep of this high, and here you can see that this high wasn't swept. Okay, so you got an SMT divergence. But uh, let's see if you get an order block. So I will explain what is order block. There are many definitions of order block, but I will explain the simple one. I use this order block a lot. Let me forward it a bit and then I will explain. Okay, so uh, you can see that this line, this is the uh, resistance line or the liquidity line. Okay, so we got these order blocks above this resistance or above this liquidity level. So what is order block? You can see that the price is going up. Okay, the candles are going up like this, up closing candles, and then suddenly a candle closes below the previous one a bearish candle like this one so uh, this is the order block structure and once the price goes up to the bottom of this candle or to the midpoint of this candle then you have to short this is the bearish order block so when the price goes up towards this area this is where you have to short okay then uh, same is the case for bullish order block the price will go down below certain liquidity level or support level here we said that this is the resistance level so in bullish example the price will go down below the support or liquidity level and then there will be an up closing candle this will be a bullish order block and then price will go up okay so uh, you can see if i forward it a bit you see this was the order block so the price went up to 0 0.55 level and then it came down okay so we will discuss where should be your stop loss and where should you take targets but before that uh, let's come back to this point so here we got the divergence so the first step is the divergence the next thing you have to see is if there is any bearish order block so if there is any bearish order block you have to short from this point so let's see if we get any bearish order block you can see that this candle came down but it didn't close below it so there is no bearish order block and we won't enter into shorts so this is not a valid SMT divergence this is the 4 hour so we are using the 4 hour for our swing trades like our target will be big again we got the sweep of this level okay uh, let's see okay so here you can see that we got an up closing candle and the next candle closed below it so we got our order block now as I said your entry point will be uh, this point okay uh, this bottom of this candle or the midpoint of this candle okay so let's see we will put our orders here and as this is the swing trade so we will target the lower liquidity okay you can target this liquidity point or this this one okay so let's suppose we target this so this is a swing trade so we will use a wider stop loss just two or three pips above the swing high and uh, let's see what happens now uh, you will say uh, should we enter into this or this here you can see that if you enter into this one your stop loss will be around here okay above that swing high so this is a more riskier trade so that's why i chose this one and not this one both of these prices will go down but I chose this one because the stop loss is tight. In this case, my stop loss would be around here. Okay, so I didn't enter into this one. Uh, if this was less risky, I will enter into this. But in this case, this is less risky. So let's see how it goes. Uh, let me fasten it a bit. You can see that uh, the price went up to that level. Okay, the bottom of this candle, and then came down and as I said you can use this point okay your first TP will be this this liquidity was taken this is the buy side liquidity okay and also you can use this one so uh, let's see you can see that 
the sell side liquidity was taken now again you will look for order blocks okay the bearish and bullish order block also you will look for the smt divergences here and then uh, you will enter into a long so far there is no smt divergence okay uh, we have got one here like you can see this candle wasn't swept okay and this candle was swept so you got a pump but still this is not a clear order block or smt divergence so you have to wait for something more clearer okay like most probably the price will again go down around here and then if we get an smt divergence and order block we will get a pump so you saw that uh, how we entered using the smt divergence first we waited for a divergence and then order block when we got that order block we entered and we targeted this sensitive liquidity and this was our swing trade so we have already discussed a bearish example in case of the swing trade or the forearm now uh, in the 15 minute scalping we will discuss a bullish case and uh, we will discuss this how we can pick this pump so uh, let me replay this one okay uh, we will use the same concept here but this one is a bullish case so this one is the nasdaq that is the s p so let's see me forward it a bit what happens so still there is no divergence now you can see that this was the low okay this is the low that was made in case of the s p this was the low that was made in case of the nasdaq and nasdaq swept this low so now we have this s t divergence so what's the next step as i already explained the next step is looking for an order block in this case we will look for bullish order block so let me forward it a bit if you get you can see that here we got this order block this was the down closing candle and the next candle closed above it okay so as i told you the next step will be waiting for the top of this candle or to the midpoint of this candle okay so let's suppose we entered around here okay now you can enter into any one you want because the risk ratio is the same in both cases the swing low is almost same okay at the same point so you will enter here and uh let me for this so you should at least target this sell side okay now uh, this buy side so let me play this what happens now you got this target but the thing is if you are sure about your entry uh, you can take some profit and you can wait uh, or you can hold the rest of it for a while and let's see what happened see it pumped okay also i shared this strategy uh, and uh, i shared this trade in my facebook group uh, we picked this trade okay so you can see that uh, using this strategy you would have caught this pump okay this massive pump so this is the example of the 15 minutes also we discussed uh, the example on the four hour i hope it makes sense if you have any questions you can ask me thank you guys